In this video, we'll be taking a look at a varying array of exciting personal transports, like the mini bike BMW is cooking up, what they call the CE02, or the three wheeled scooter called the C Plus Walk T from Toyota. Stick around and you'll see more of the Tatamel bike, designed by Icoma to fit under a desk after folding up. Compactness is one of the most significant aspects of personal transports. The City Transformer CT1 is the most direct evolution of that aspect compared to traditional vehicles. Measuring 98 inches long by 55 inches wide, you could fit four of these in a single standard parking space if you crammed them together. That won't be too difficult, since the City Transformer can suck in its tires for a width of 39.3 inches. And with only two 10 horsepower motors behind each rear wheel, it still manages to keep up with a top speed of 56 miles per hour when the wheels aren't tucked in. It has a range of around 112 miles on a single charge. Don't let the tiny size fool you. This version can hold two adults in tandem with a version for an adult and two children on the way. If you want one for yourself, we won't be seeing them until at least 2024 but pre-orders are available for around $14,600. There is always something interesting coming out of the mines behind BMW, and the CE02 is another concept on their long list. This sleek, silvery, cyberpunk sci-fi bike is entirely automatic with no foot pedals to be found but with the intention of adding footrests later. Strapped with a nearly 15 horsepower belt drive engine, the CE02 is not only entirely electric, but BMW also says it can reach a top speed of 56 miles per hour. And while the CE02 is only in its conceptual stages, the CE04 is another futuristic electric scooter from BMW that will be going into production. The slightly smaller 12 horsepower battery it's supplied with gives it a top speed of 75 miles per hour. If you want to scoop one up yourself, the CE04 will be around $12,000 on release. Jetpack Aviation has some news worth mentioning. We previously covered this company and the JB9 in one of our videos. The inventors of the first Jetpack have an update, their Jetpack Training School. For just under $5,000, you can get two days of training with their equipment, their team, and a minimum of three flights for each of those days. They state that no previous experience is necessary, and on completion of the course, you'll receive a certificate. The folks over at Jetpack Aviation are branching out from their namesake with the simply named Speeder. This Speeder is an interesting take on the classic sci-fi machine with self-stabilization. It lacks the requirements of a pilot's license, at least with the ultralight version. Using four engines, it manages a max altitude of 15,000 feet, although if you're looking to reach those heights, it would be a good idea to bring some oxygen with you. Top speeds of around 150 miles per hour make this a quick and convenient method of transportation. And you'll need to be quick, because the flight duration ranges between 10 and 22 minutes. Anything beyond light or moderate rain will be a no-go. However, if you do lose an engine at some point during transit, there is sophisticated engine management in place. For your own speeder, you're looking at a price point of around $380,000 for the recreational version. Nearly a decade ago, the Australian athlete Dan Baldwin invented the first ungoverned power board called the One. Now we have the successor with the Vendetta. This is an electric version of its predecessor with distinct differences in the motors. Two brushless DC motors replaced the singular four-stroke engine. Weighing in at less than half the board that came before it at 43 pounds, the Vendetta is not only lighter but quicker too. Opposed to the One's top speed of 19 miles per hour, this treaded traveler can top out at around 31 miles per hour. 
A user around 165 pounds could expect a 40-minute ride at about 16 miles per hour. If you wanted one for yourself, they are planning to release it at approximately $5,800. Introducing an electric cargo trike that tackles the corner-turning instability of the three-wheel designs. The trike is called Lafkraftflitzer. <laughs> Try to say that three times fast. And it's German for truck speedster. This pedalless prize from the German mobility company ZF Friedrichshafen features 220 volt in the rear hub and a top speed of 28 miles per hour. The truck speedster is interesting in that the headlights remain parallel with the road when turning into corners, and with brakes at both the front and a motor-engaged one in the rear, this German engineering can halt easily. And to help against theft and damage, a parking brake, anti-theft immobilization system, and a tilt-lock mechanism are all automatically engaged. As of right now, there is no production date scheduled, but stay tuned! and let us know in the comments if you want us to follow this one up with any future updates. Perhaps you have a trusty steed, and you just need something a bit smaller for maneuvering campus, a business park, or an airport. That's where the C-Plus Walk T from Toyota comes in. One of the design aspects of this three-wheeled scooter is to, quote, ease the burden of walking on elderly users engaged in security work. Because of this, you can expect speed to be a bit more regulated, with a top speed of 6.2 miles per hour. And for safety, it also features obstacle detection with visual alerts and a sound alarm. Also, it will decelerate to around 1.2 miles per hour to help prevent a collision. The C-Plus Walk T can support riders up to 220 pounds, but there is no word on the production outside of Japan. Those of you familiar with recumbent tricycles may be interested in the Velomobile named Kinner from Finnish inventor Ari Yuka Lumeranta. This polished, elongated, egg-shaped quad is classified as an electrically assisted bicycle in Finland. It is composed of a composite chassis, padded bucket seats, and a steering yoke. As of right now, the final design is not finished as it lacks a motor. The aim is to get something that can bring the Kenner to a cruising speed with the idea that the rider can take over. There's even been talk of a version that lacks the motor altogether. Pin code activated anti-theft functionality, more robust wheel options, side mirrors, and LED lights are all in talks to make the final cut. If you want one for yourself, Lou Maranta is accepting $500 reservation deposits, with a final price tag planned at around $17,500. Do you love e-bikes but want to take that next step in personal electric transportation? The Electrom Light Electric Vehicle, or LEV for short, may be just what you're after. It features a unique generator and chain drive system that allows the rider to push inclines in a two-wheel drive mode. Once you pick up speed to nine miles per hour and beyond, the speed at which you pedal does not affect the speed at which the LEV moves. This means you can pedal at a comfortable rate while pushing the throttle for higher speeds. With a top speed of 40 miles per hour, you can get a range of about 124 miles out of the LEV. Options for a second 2800 watt hour battery can double that range with some regenerative braking assistance. Weighing in at 155 pounds, this in betweener vehicle houses a nearly 40 gallon cargo hub in the rear. They are set to go for just a little over $10,000 if you're interested in picking one up yourself. We're seeing many large automotive companies taking steps toward electric, and Honda is no different. In 2019, the Japanese company released their first electric delivery scooter, the Benley E, designed for business fleets. Then after the Benley E came another addition to their ongoing Gyro series with the Gyro E cargo trike, 
And now we are taking a look at the latest addition to that series, the Gyro Canopy E. Per charge, the Gyro Canopy E sees a range of just under 48 miles with an average speed of 18.6 miles per hour. This three-wheeler from Honda has a contract attached. As part of its 100% zero emission by 2040, Honda asks that customers sign a contract to return all batteries that are no longer in use. If you're willing to take the pledge, you're looking at a price of around $6,200. Japan has had a firm grip on a variety of electronics for decades, and that includes vehicles. Ikoma is a Japanese startup with an exciting prototype they call the Tatamel bike. This unique electric bike is designed to fit under a desk when not in use. When folded, the Tatamel bike and its 600-watt motor can fit under nearly any desk over two feet tall. When unfolded, estimates for the bike's performance include a top speed of 25 miles per hour and a range of around 31 miles on a single charge. The side panels can be interchanged for advertising or other signage. A complete LED lighting system, power sharing battery, and front and rear suspension are all featured as well. Icoma plans on going into production with the Tatamel bike sometime in the future. But until then, why don't you head to the comments and let us know what you thought of the video. Tell us your favorite personal transport showcased or tell us what you'd like to see in future installments. If you enjoyed this video, you could help us out by hitting the like button, subscribe, and keep up to date on future posts.